Dear readers and listeners, we are thrilled to be bringing you the Magic School Bus books in this exciting read-along format. You may notice that some parts of the text might be read in a slightly different order, but we assure you that all of the story and facts are there. We did this because this order made the most sense for listeners. We want the listening experience to be as rich as the reading experience. Also, please don't forget to listen to the student reports at the end of the recording that will be read by Ms. Frizzle herself. Thanks for listening and reading. We hope you enjoy this magic school bus adventure. Best wishes, Bruce Deegan and Joanna Cole. The Magic School Bus, Lost in the Solar System. Written by Joanna Cole. Illustrated by Bruce Deegan. It was trip day again in Miss Frizzle's class. Everyone was excited. We were going to the planetarium to see a sky show about the solar system. Class! An orbit is the path of a planet or other object around the sun. I knew that. I get all A's in school. What a show off! Arnold's cousin, Janet, was visiting our class for the day. I know all of you will be nice to our guest, said the Frizz. I have five computers. Thanks for inviting your cousin, Arnold. My class went to the planetarium last year. She's actually nice when you get to know her. We tried to be nice to Janet. We really did. As we got on the school bus, we told her that Ms. Frizzle is the weirdest teacher in school. But Janet wasn't interested. She wanted to tell us about herself. My school is taller than your school. Our swings are better than your swings. My teacher is weirder than your teacher. Who wants a tall school? As usual, it took a while to get the old bus started. But finally, we were on our way. As we were driving, Ms. Frizzle told us all about how the Earth spins like a top as it moves in its orbit. It was just a short drive to the planetarium, but Ms. Frizzle talked fast. This bus is a wreck. At least it started this time. We have new school buses at our school. When the Earth spins, we say it rotates. The Earth makes one rotation, turn, every day. When we got to the planetarium, it was closed for repairs. Class, this means we'll have to return to school, said the Frizz. We were so disappointed. Back to school? I'm so depressed. My planetarium is always open. On the way back, as we were waiting at a red light, something amazing happened. The bus started tilting back, and we heard the roar of rockets. Oh, dear, said Miss Frizzle. We seem to be blasting off. 